Nestled in the hills south of Twin Falls is the Brockman White Hummingbird Feeding Station. Today, two longtime friends run this 30 year old treasure that this time of year is humming with activity. It's just so quiet and peaceful and of course there's a lot of hummingbirds and they're so little quick they can dart stop on a dime and they've been measured to fly up to 50 miles an hour. They really are amazing birds. All together we have almost 50 feeders. This place is Virgil Brockman's hummingbird feeding stations. He took care of them for years. He loved it up here, we love it up here. Robert Bird. John McManus. I clean the feeders. Refill them and... And hang them. That's pretty well what we do. This morning we had 16 gallons we brought up. They drink quite a bit. They eat bugs. This, the sugar water aids in their digestion. It's good for the birds, and we seem to get more birds every year. That one there's a black chin, I think. Their lifespan is about three to five years, and they migrate to southern Mexico and Central America through the winter months. So they travel a long ways. People in the area enjoy visiting. Play another one. Kids love it. I just hope they get the peace and the joy of the birds. It's just a nice place to get away for a few minutes. Uh, you see him buzzing around. Very serene place, peaceful. That's why I, I, I just love coming up here. We're just trying to get as many people as we can up here to, to enjoy it. And I've been doing it with John for seven years now. And uh, it's really a labor of love. Now the sugar used to make up the feed, that actually is donated by the Amalgamated Sugar Company where both Robert and John used to work. Okay, so you see this piece and you're thinking, I wanna go see it in person. So if you'd like more information on how the hummingbird count is looking, check out the Shoshone Basin Hummers Facebook page. Unfortunately, over the past couple of weeks, the number of birds has dropped off quite a bit. No one's really sure why, but if you're feeling lucky, bring the family down and hopefully you'll be able to see a few of these little guys. Again, the information at their Facebook page.